Hello everyone, welcome to our how-to video on how to buy an NFT using GEM. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to talk about purchasing an NFT on the world's best NFT aggregator, GEM.xyz. We'll head straight over to their Web3 enabled application. In the top right hand corner, you will see the Connect Wallet button, which is where we will start for pretty much all Web3 applications. Let's connect our wallet, and we're using MetaMask today for this how-to video, and boom. We're automatically connected. Some people may need to click a few connect buttons with the MetaMask pop-up modal. And once you do that, your wallet will be connected to GEM. Now let's say we already know the NFTs we want to purchase, and we'll do a few examples here today. Let's we're gonna go from well on the search page, we can search by trading volume, and we can also search by time period as well. So I'll go to the last 30 days. We'll click on Azuki because that has a lot of good information. And here it shows the NFTs we can purchase. Now, given that GEM is an NFT aggregator, they're taking listings from multiple marketplaces here on the left-hand side. So there's a filter section on the left-hand side. We have our main NFT section in the middle, and then we have our cart on the right-hand side. So we can add NFTs to our cart um, with the click of a button. So I can click on this Flora Azuki NFT, and it automatically gets added to our cart. Let's say I wanted a bit more information. I could click the Details button of this NFT, and it would show up, it's, uh, we would, it would bring up its own page for the NFT, in which I get a bit more detailed information. Additionally, I could add to cart from here as well, and it would add it to my cart on the right-hand side. Now, the info we have here, we have contract address, we could go to Etherscan, token ID, the standard, the blockchain, all pretty standard stuff, or excuse me, um, pretty general info. We've got price charts. Looks like this is for the, this specific NFT which is very interesting. We've got bids, if this NFT has any bids, which it doesn't. And then it also has an activity page, so it should show us the history of transactions for this specific NFT. It's just taking a second to load. If we go back, let's say we wanted to purchase multiple NFTs. We could do that as well. I could click two NFTs, and gem.xyz lets us purchase multiple NFTs in one single transaction, thereby decreasing um, our gas costs slightly due to aggregation and bundling. So let's go through that process. Let's just buy one for now. We're going to click the Florizuki, and I'm going to proceed to checkout. Here we are, and we can select payment tokens. Now, to purchase an NFT, you will typically need Ether um, in your wallet. You will certainly need Ether to complete the transaction fee, and then you will need a denomination of token to purchase the NFT, and most NFT marketplaces on Ethereum use Ether. The interesting thing about GEM is you can use other tokens or a combination of tokens, which is mind-blowing. So here is the Azuki. I could pay using Ethereum, or I could pay using multiple um, currencies. And we're going to play with Ether, but I have insufficient input. So... Let us get out of here really quickly. Let's go back to Gem. We're going to search by floor price, and we're going to find an NFT that I can actually afford. So let's go do the Recon Rams. I've never heard of these Recon Rams, but they're cheap, and my wallet could afford it, potentially, actually. So we'll click the floor ram. We'll proceed to checkout. I'm going to pay with my 0.11 ETH that's in my wallet, and I'm going to proceed to checkout. So here we are in the Review Your Order section. The NFT is 0.11. I have 0.13 Ether in my wallet, so I have just enough. I'm going to purchase Recon RAM 2594, and I'm going to pay with my Ether price, or my Ether tokens. Now, the routing order. They do give us the routing order, so it's saying, where are you purchasing this from? And they say, great, we're getting it from OpenSea. Wonderful. I'm going to place my order. When you place your order, you will either see a new screen pop up like this, or you'll see a little modal pop up in the top right hand corner which we've seen a lot before or potentially you've seen before and both screens are going to say the same thing so i'm glad this popped up um, kind of in the larger format so that we can go through this in detail this is a metamask transaction that is trying to go through um, here we have the price of the transaction at the top we have the website or the application that we're interacting with here at the top as well let me scroll out. If we scroll down just a little bit, under the details section, we have our estimated gas fee, which is 0.02 ETH, or about $61. I can edit that, which we'll do in a second. 
And then it also has our total amount, which is our purchase price of the NFT plus our gas amount, which gets us our total amount that we're going to be sending outside of our ether or outside of our wallet. Let's go and then we also have a data page. Well, this transaction doesn't support that data. And then for the more advanced users, we also do have um, hex um, information as well and hex data available, but we won't get in that, into that today. The one thing we will talk about is editing your gas transaction. Let's say you wanted to speed this transaction up or you wanted this transaction to get into the, uh, in, in, into possibly the next block or the, as close a block as possible. You don't want to be waiting, you know, 10, 20 minutes for this for this transaction to go through. If we click the edit button for our estimated gas fee section, it will give us our quote. MetaMask already has it tailored where they will give us the option to pay a low gas price. And they say maybe in 30 seconds that'll get cleared. A medium gas price or a high gas price. The medium gas price says likely in, in, in uh, less than 30 seconds. And then the high gas price, if we click it, I think it says like very likely in less than 15 seconds. So if you pay high gas fees, it'll most likely be included in the coming block or blocks. Um, and if you choose medium or low, it will get logged into the coming blocks in the future. Um, but there will be a, a little bit of a delay. Now, me personally, I don't really typically see much difference between high and medium and for a basic tutorial video like this today I default personally to just selecting high and I will pay the extra dollar or two uh, for my transaction to confirm quicker because obviously not obviously but sometimes it is a little scary waiting for your transaction to clear I do like my transactions to go in faster than slower um, so I'll typically just select high and then I'll press save and if I had enough uh, Ether in my wallet. This is actually 0.14, so I'm slightly, this is slightly too expensive for me. This confirm button um, would light up and I would press confirm and we would be good to go. The transaction would get sent off. There would be a little pop up that said you could view your transaction and then you could click into your pending transaction and see the transaction pending on EtherScan, the blockchain explorer. Now, really quickly, let's do. Let's, I probably actually I won't go into the advanced options here. We have a gas limit, a max priority fee, and then also a max fee that's in GUE. Um, this GUE this GUE um, term that you may be hearing out there is G W E I, and it is um, ether. It is simply ether token, um, but I believe to the eighth degree, so point zero zero zero. 0001 of an ether so it's a very small amount of ether um, for us to be able to pay for smart contract processing and computation or otherwise known as transaction fees so typically i will skip the advanced options but i will usually click high when i want my transactions to go fast and i'll typically do that a lot of the time so right here if you're ever unhappy with the transaction never fear you can come to this page and always press reject so you can always test this out. Sometimes I'll do that just to look at what the gas fee is because they give an estimation of the gas fee, but it's, it's not always correct. I think the, the, the platforms are getting a lot better, but I'll sometimes click confirm and say, yes, purchase. I'll have the little modal pop up for, for MetaMask, but then I'll just press reject because I really just wanted to see the gas, the gas price. Now, we'll get out of here. We're going to come back to the homepage. We're going to X out and we're going to start with a fresh cart because what we're going to do here is we're going to select a new NFT marketplace. We're going to go back to the Yuzukis actually. Did want to show you that we have the NFT collection icon here in the top left hand corner to see where you're purchasing the NFT from. And if I scroll down, you will see that th this Azuki down here has the NFTX marketplace icon. So just wanted to show you that um, that's where you'll see, you'll see little icons uh, for where um, you're purchasing your NFT from using GEM. Now, they do have a sweep function, I believe. So we have a little icon here next to my cart where I could put on sweep mode. And by clicking this little broom, I'll zoom in one, by clicking this little broom um, on the right-hand side of the page, it opens up a new pop-up here above my cart section. And it says, awesome, how many items do I want? Well, I want to buy 10 Azukis. 
boom. 10 Azuki's, 134 ETH. Just a sweet $400,000 transaction. Done. How cool is that for sweet mode? I don't even have to click all 10. It will just do it for me, which is very, very cool. The other way that I can do a sweet mode is instead of buying the number of items that I want, let's say I'll just do the number of ETH. Let's say, you know what? We've got a high net worth individual. We're dropping 25 ETH on Azuki's. Let's see how many that's going to get us. It's going to get us two. Pretty, pretty cool sweep feature. Um, I could see also this in the future being an attribute sweep feature, where if you said, wonderful, sweep, and then if you put in a little filter up here that said, I only want to sweep the floor value with female avatars. Well, it would then do that for us. So the that's not available yet, but I do see that in the future. Sorry, didn't shouldn't have put that in there. But um, we do have the sweep function here. Now we also have analytics as well. So under each collection, you should be able to click into analytics, see general content. Uh, it looks like they just put in Dune Analytics dashboards, which is cool, for sales volume and floor price, the holders, and the distribution of holders, and then also the leaderboard as well for top buyers in the last three hours, let's say the last 24 hours. Nice. So in the last 24 hours, someone dropped 50 ETH on four different Azukis. Very cool. And that, everybody, is our how-to video on how to purchase an NFT using gem.xyz. We'll connect our Web3 wallet. We'll click into the NFTs that we want to purchase. We'll add them to our cart. We'll make sure that we have enough Ether, or we'll choose the denominations of crypto that we want to purchase our NFT in. We'll ensure that we have enough. Um, and then we will click the review button we will press confirm a MetaMask modal or a new page will pop up saying that to confirm, asking you to confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Um, if you want a faster transaction, we will switch. We will press the edit gas button and we will change gas free from medium to high. Press save, press confirm, and then we would confirm the transaction. The transaction would get sent off to the mempool, get put, and then be ready to get added to the next block or a coming block onto the blockchain. Um, and that's about it today. So hopefully that all made sense and helped you understand how to purchase an NFT using one of the best platforms, if not the best platform to purchase NFTs out there. Um, and that's gem.xyz. So thank you everyone for that got this far. Really appreciate it. And we'll be back at it again with another how-to video another time. Bye for now.